what's really unique about this exhibition is the opportunity to look at some truly iconic paintings that come from America, painted in the 1930s, that capture a moment of huge transition and change. This is a time when artists, and not just artists, but the whole of society, are coming to terms with big change and wondering how best to move forward, how to confront the future. So the exhibition is called America After the Fall. The fall being, of course, the great crash that happened in 1929 and the consequences that were felt and reverberated throughout the country for the following decade. The idea of the exhibition is really to capture the sense of profound shock to the economic and social system, but then also the, the manner in which America starts to reorganise, to regroup, if you like, and the changes that are taking place. Changes in immigration, changes in urbanisation, and also changes in the kind of uh, industrialisation uh, process of the country. Well, I suppose the names that most people would recognise would be Edward Hopper, Jackson Pollock, Philip Guston, um, Thomas Hart Benton, George O'Keefe, Alice Neal, artists that have been justly lauded and collected and displayed throughout American museums from the 1930s onwards, but perhaps the most single most iconic work coming to the exhibition is a painting by an artist called Grant Wood. The painting itself, I'm sure most people would recognise, called American Gothic. So American Gothic is a painting that was painted in 1930 and entered the collection of the Art Institute of Chicago that same year, so they've had it ever since. It's never ever before left North America, it's been to Canada once in its lifetime, so this is a real historic moment that is coming to Europe for the first time. It's a painting of a couple standing in front of a barn, so it's a kind of rural scene and if you like, uh, I think it's an image that captures the change that's taking place in America. The change from rural based society with profound belief in the land and the whole notion of the kind of settling of the land and the change that, that's, that's taking place. So this captures a moment, if you like, it's a kind of golden moment looking back with nostalgia in the past. It is, without doubt, one of the most celebrated and copied paintings ever painted. What's really exciting for us is that there is an opportunity to show really great paintings from American museums that are rarely seen in this country, shown together for the first time to give us a very condensed but very dynamic image of what American art was like in the 1930s.